That's how my, that's how mine looks today. Mine was like nothing but mods. I had to mod somebody because of Nightbot fucking up. Yeah, super super blazing Nova's a good guy. But yeah, he kept saying like he'd be like hashtag UGC and they'd be like don't use all caps and ban them. And I was like what the fuck? <laughs> He's in here hyping the show and your Nightbot is banning them. That's like no. I I got Nightbot all situated. I put it in its place. I'm like listen, fuckface. <laughs> no, all this disabled. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so I'm not sure how many questions we have here, but um, yeah. So so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start. And it's weird how we're broken up. So any particular gonna, order that it's gonna go in? We're gonna just um, well from left to right, it's me, coma, potato, and then you, Wade. Me. Okay, that's how it's showing up on mine. But I think I think potato should be the host of this. So take it away, potato. I don't have a list of questions. Oh. Do you want to do the introductions? <laughs> you got the questions. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Adam Agro here for UGC. I'm joined by Comatose87, Protato, and Ryan. I don't know why Protato is all up on my screen right now. That's all you can see, but I'm hosting it. So... <laughs> Google you Hangouts. Screw it up again, Adam. How did. Okay, so now I don't see my own picture? <laughs> did you click on Potatoes? No, like you guys are cycling, but I'm not. Do you guys see yourself when you're talking? No. No. You, you have it right then. You're okay, good. Never mind. So I will never see myself when I'm exactly. talking. Exactly. That's not going to work. Well. Well, then fuck. <laughs> How, 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 how do I do that? I don't know. Click on your image and just have only you as the big one, okay? Okay, wait a minute. If I can click on myself when I'm talking, click off of it for someone else. Gotcha. Okay. If you remember. This is really complicated. Yes. <laughs> All right. Right, if only we had Skype Premium, right? You know. Oh, fuck Skype Premium. <laughs> That's true. Well, I don't see my own picture through Skype either. Right? That's true. Okay. That's true. Yeah. All right. Everybody calm down. I cannot calm down. Potato, stop acting up. Okay. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Adam Agra here for UGC, and I'm joined by Comatose87, Potato, and Wake... Oh, Cyrus, today we're just going to be doing a uh, quick uh, Q&A. We've been getting a lot of weird questions, and I thought maybe we should answer them. So we're going to go ahead and get started now that you know everybody. One more time, Comatose87, Potato, Wake Cyrus, me. If you don't know me, man, go to a doctor. All right, so first question. This one is in regards to uh, last year. And I should start off by saying that not everything has been 100% confirmed, including people and games. So, just grain of salt, people. Uh, first question is, what is your favorite moment from last year's event? I'd have to say when uh, the funds were raised for Adam to do the pantsless run. That was pretty quick. <laughs> uh, Proteo, do you, do you remember your favorite moment? Uh, I don't know, but I, I, think, I think Moonwalker stuff. As well. So just you Talked going through me. Moonwalker? <laughs> Moonwalker in uh, makeup. The, and, the, and the zombie makeup. Wake, do you, <laughs> can you weigh in on this one? or? <laughs> the zombie makeup, definitely. The zombie makeup is good. Is, my my is favorite so was not actually related to games. Um, it was actually when SS Master came downstairs from one of the first, uh, first times he was sleeping. And he said, I think one of your animals got in my bed and peed all over the place. And I was like, none of the animals can get upstairs. So I'm pretty sure Ness Ness Master peed all over my guest bedroom. <laughs> I and remember that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we all know where Coma's sleeping. <laughs> I think he actually spilled some water or something. I think I, I think he had anyway. a drink with him because he was sleeping on the floor in a sleeping bag, and I think he might have knocked it over. But the thing is... Yeah, he had that tea in his hand like the whole night. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was pretty ridiculous. So the number one thing that uh, I'm sure that me and Potato, being the veterans, would recommend to you two is sleep. <laughs> yeah. No, I plan on staying up the whole 48 hours. 
Hey, you'd be surprised. Some of you young guns are like all piss and vinegar. Like, I don't need to sleep. I want to watch people play games. Or I'll just make it through the through Link to the Past. And then they're just like... <laughs> yeah, the first 36 hours were okay. But after that, it was... Because <laughs> I, I stayed up for a long time the first night. Yeah, you did. It was, it was pretty nasty. See, but those sleepless hours are when the, like, the s pure stupidity comes out. It's so good. It, it's, yeah. it is pretty fun. They got stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question is, what is your favorite game from last year? Um, probably DuckTales. DuckTales Hashtag no, no, go in the, uh, pogo, <laughs> no go on the pogo in the snow, bro. Hell there yes. You go. <laughs> Potato, favorite game from last year? Uh, DuckTales was pretty entertaining. Um, it went fast, though. I really like. I don't remember what what was that game called? The super ultra hard one that Snow did. Uh, Journey of Silius. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Was, that, one. that was crazy that he almost actually made it through that. Um, nothing official, but the one game that he did bring up was Journey of Silius. So such good music. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe he'll get his revenge this year. That would be amazing. Uh, Wake. I can't remember the name of it, but I can describe it, and you might know it. It was some, like, little fantasy game, and you were playing as a little dude, and I think you were collecting stars and stuff. Wiz and Liz. That's uh, it. Yeah, Wiz and Liz. That's, that's, that's Wiz and Liz. I have, like, 14 playthroughs of that on my YouTube channel, so... You that is, that yeah. is a good game. Very fun. I've tried my hand at it, and I'm just like, I suck. There's no way. <laughs> it's so, really hard. It's... you got to, like, memorize spells and stuff and really oh, yeah. manage the time limit. Very, very difficult. Um, uh, well, my favorite um, game from last year was definitely Moonwalker. I have not seen that completed, and definitely not seen that completed in that kind of fashion in my life. It was very entertaining. <laughs> Make yeah, I, was, I was thinking about doing DuckTales as a duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here, here's something really cool. Here, I go being stupid. <laughs> I like it. Nice. The you good, news, the, the the good news is now. I have eight of these. <laughs> yes! You know, I found a, a Scrooge McDuck hat that's from, like, Disney U UK or something from, like, a few years ago. And I so wanted it, but they wanted, like, $200 for it. Oh, my goodness. That's, yeah. that's quite a bit. It's, like, the only DuckTales thing I've ever seen. Hmm. Would you be opposed to wearing a Burger King crown? <laughs> I don't think anybody yes. could do that. I could do one of those games. Because I have one in my room somewhere. I, have I could Coma do sneaking. Works there. I work at a Burger King. I only have two things from a Burger King in my room right now, and those are actually Wii U uh, Kid Meal boxes. <laughs> actually, they're right, right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Those were sweet. Those were really cool. All right. Um, okay. Worse. What was your least favorite game of UGC 2012? This is a hard one, especially if you kind of went back and watched them on YouTube, because like nobody would watch the ones they don't like. I think for me, Double Dragon 2 on the Mega Drive, the one that froze twice, and like. <laughs> Bracey could not get it to fucking work. And it was so bad. Who played that with him? Was it Ness? I can't... I don't remember, but I do remember it locking up and it was like a good chunk of time trying to fix the thing, so... It was just so clunky and awful. Like, I just... I, I don't know why I didn't do the NES version. I mean, I guess it's not better, but still. <laughs> Any of you other guys yeah. want to weigh in on this? <laughs> Your least favorite game? Like, not that you played particularly, just there. I, I don't remember what it was that Hero Biscuit and I were playing, because we played a few... We I think we both played a couple of beat-em-ups, and I don't remember which one was incredibly frustrating. I think it was Streets of Rage. Yeah, that was when you just kind of had to add in when I was sleeping, so... Yeah. Well, Streets of Rage is... Because the very first thing you do is you hit the A button and use your magic, and you're like, well, fuck. 
<laughs> it we made it through that up. game, but it was. We did. It's on it's, a it took forever, yeah. too. It was like you, you were awake for a while before we finally finished it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we won't have that problem uh, with so many individuals. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Coma, wait, did you answer this one? Least favorite? Or, I no? didn't see enough to pick a uh, least favorite. Uh, I'd have to go with Double Dragon 2 as well, just because that it ate up so much time. It was such a bummer that it, it locked up. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people would probably say Centipede Infestation on the Wii, the twin six shooter. That was like I two, like two and a half I hours. liked your run through of that one. I liked it too, but people seemed bored. I don't know if it was the time zone or the fact that I couldn't convince anybody to play it with me, but people seemed bored, and that's why it got cut this year. I enjoyed your your playthrough of it to begin with. You know, the first one before UGC. I liked it. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, um, now, I've already kind of answered some of these, and it's not, and I'm not sucking up, but, um, who do you believe was the VIP of UGC 2012? My pick is Potato. <laughs> and he's just like, he's, he's, well, he's not even going to accept it. He's like, yeah, I know. Yoshi's Island and Moonwalker, I mean, holy fucking shit. And DuckTales, like, he played all blockbusters. I'm over here playing games that no one's ever heard of or like. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there for Moonwalker. I was, unfortunately, at work, but I was there for all the others. Um, yeah, Potato was pretty good. I, I'd also go with, uh, with Bracey, and he brought the Neo Geo. It was uh, nice pretty... kind of having a uh, lesser... Um, known system and shown off system there for sure. Yeah, that was that was probably the the coolest point. Um, I think my favorite would have to be Ness, just because of the stupid things. That he, <laughs> he can play. Ness so just makes many everything games. ridiculous, and he he played some ridiculous games too. <laughs> Alright, what do you think, Wake? Mom would be Potato, simply because he did Yoshi's Island, and in the fashion that he did do Moonwalker in, like you said, that has never been seen, so. Yeah, Props. It, was, it was really good. I'm, su I'm surprised we got to see that end. I, I'm really surprised. Yes. I think uh, it was a close one, too. It it was. You're really close to your time, zo uh, time limit. Which, I mean, like, the way that we do it is we have every four hours we have 20 minutes that we can either go into add other stuff or just bullshit and you know suck up to the sponsors so if you go over a little bit it's not a big deal we try to be casual but tight mm -hmm. so uh so that's it uh the next two i'm going uh to answer but maybe i'll maybe i'll ask you guys just to make you look stupid um Next question is, how many individuals attended UGC 2012? Does anybody know? Five. Five, five is a really good guess, but technically, Linda played a game with uh, Bracey. So technically, there were six. <laughs> technically, there were six so people. Do you have to One be game. playing to be attending? <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, I guess we did have a lot of spectators, just kind of people coming in and going, but I'm going to say playing, but Linda did play. So, I'm going to say she counts. Next question is, how many games were played at UGC 2012? Does anybody have a guess? 48 hours. No. 26. 26 is, is a pretty decent guess. Oh, uh, I think we went over 30. You want to guess, Coma? I'll go with 28, there I was, guess. There was 34 games. Damn. Yeah. I just thought 35 at first. I should have said that. You, sh you should have. That would have been really close. But, yeah, 34 games. All right, this is this is one uh, for everybody. Um, here, let me click back on me again, shit. <laughs> what game do you really want to do for future events? Okay, I'll go first. I, w I would really like to do Bomberman Hero on the Nintendo 64. I've practiced it a lot. It's a really fun game. I would love to represent the 64, which may not happen this year because there's so many attendees. But And Bomberman's my favorite character. So, Bomberman Hero on the 64. 
Well, uh, this is kind of spoiler-ish, but uh, I plan on running Chrono Trigger. I don't know exactly how many hours it's going to be, but that's my favorite game of all time, and that's one of the two games I plan on doing. Well, what that you're not going to be able to do this year, would you want to do? Like, something that you know you can't, like, practice to get done this year, but um, to make it happen. Would you want to do I, the sequel? Prequel? Never, I've... What, to Chrono, Chrono Cross? I've never played Chrono Cross. Oh, well, fuck me then. <laughs> uh... No, I'd probably say um, Maximum Carnage because I've been talking about that for a while and just cannot get towards the end of the game. It just kicks my ass. Those games are so hard. Yeah. They're unbelievably hard. Where's Marvel? Where's Marvel? Oh, God. <laughs> shout, out to, uh, shout out to Mr. Techno Squeak for always doing that and everybody else in the chat who comes in and says that Evo hype. Uh, Potato. Mine, uh, you already kind of know. Uh, I'd definitely like to do Silver Surfer, but that is going to be hard. That hard duck, to man, actually, that duck is OP. <laughs> to make it through that entire game without having to continue is going to be nearly impossible. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> no, but if you continue, you start over at the level. So, oh, I got you. And you lose all your power ups. Well, maybe maybe you should bring it if uh, if we do a bonus stream this year, because there's gonna be so many people we may do a bonus stream. So maybe you should bring it for that. I'll bring it. <laughs> I might fail miserably. <laughs> All right, uh, Wake. What game that you don't think you'll be able to do this year? Uh, I've talked like about it. Future? I've talked about it, and it is a difficult game, solo or co-op. I would love to finally co-op. Zombies Ate My Neighbors with somebody. I oh. love that game so much, <laughs> but it is so damn hard. I can get the 35 yeah. on my own, but if you die and you enter password, you don't have your power-ups, so it kind of you know mm -hmm. defeats it, so you got to do it one go. But I would love to do that game. Oh, man. I, I would put that on the never, ever, ever, ever going to see happen list. <laughs> and it would, have to be, it would have to be the Super Nintendo. I do not like the Genesis version of it for some reason. That's, that's kind of weird. The music uh, isn't as good. I agree. <laughs> um, okay, this this is one just for me. Um, Agra said the number of gamers doubled this year. What are you going to do next year if the number triples? Well, uh, I would probably have to book a conference room or a hotel meeting room. And I've actually uh, got offers um, uh, to do it with in giant conference rooms. But sleeping would be a pain. Bathrooms would be a pain. Parking would be good. <laughs> Internet would be good, but everything else would be. It would be crazy as if we did that and had multiple streams, like when you have a festival and you have like three stages. Oh my <laughs> god! We can have like the unpopular games, the super popular games. <laughs> I think I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but I mean that might be something that we have to do because I basically had to put a stop to it when we hit a dozen people. I was like, I don't really think we can handle this. <laughs> Okay, uh, next question. Um, what game series do you want to see more of at the UGC events? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> I would love to see more Castlevania games, for sure. Uh, if we do get the DS, 3DS capture device, which will hopefully happen sooner than later, I would absolutely uh, love to run Fortune of Ruin. I would love to see all of the DS Castlevanias, because I think that's where they really hit their stride. It'd be interesting I to think... see Mirror of Fate. Sorry. Which one? Mirror of Fate for the 3DS. It'd be interesting to see that stream. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Wake? <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm feeling Kirby actually. Yeah, oddly enough, I mean Kirby's a pretty easy series, but it has yeah. not been like I don't even think a single game has been on my channel yet for Kirby. Oh no, Kirby's Return to uh, Dreamland was that was which is good. It, good. it is good. What do you think, Potato? What game series? Um, I don't. I think it would be really interesting to do. Uh, Something with Soul Calibur, but I don't know how we would do that other than doing a tournament. I mean, a couple of the games have story modes, which 
would be cool, but they're they're like way too long. Yeah, yeah, that's that would kind of be crazy. Um, although I am stoked. Or if about... we could do Persona. <laughs> oh my god, Persona, man! That like lasts forever, especially if you get grindy, and you have to get grindy because some of those bosses are really, really tough. When the games have a new game plus, that's what they're for. That's the only way I'm playing Oath and Felgana this year. Yeah. New game plus is where it's at. I think more games should have that. That's, yeah, definitely. That's just that's where it's at. Um, I think more Sonic games because I just I love Sonic. As long as it's not Sonic 06. I, ironically, Sonic 06 is the only one that has ever been brought up for DC. <laughs> I guess I better practice it, because I don't think anybody else is going to take that challenge. Um, Ain't nobody else is going to take that challenge. It's, it's the Hutch actually actually practices that game a lot. He's played it a lot. A lot. Did you guys even finish it at SummerSlam? Because I missed that last part. <laughs> uh, no, he played it um, right before he went to sleep one day, and he woke up and got really, really sick, and he didn't want to continue it, so... He did. He did it. But he's beat it before, and he is practicing it. But I don't think he's gonna run. I think he's running one game this year, and it's. Not I will be physically ill if he does run it. <laughs> but um, he, he might bring it for the bonus stream if he actually sticks around that long. Maybe he'll do something just for shits and giggles. But that is a really bad game. <laughs> I think I can go on record and agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, so that's that. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think is the biggest factor that is going to set UGC 2013 apart from last year? Uh, oh. <laughs> the people? <laughs> the pe like the number of people? We have a lot yeah. of people and a lot, I mean... We got a dozen people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty big. So... Is that what everybody thinks? The wider variety of games that are gonna like pertain to a bigger audience, probably. Yeah, that's that was mine. Is uh, popular titles. Last year, we're just kind of playing what we like, and most of the stuff that we like is really bargain bin stuff. So <laughs> it is bargain bin games and, good though. Yeah, so I think that popular games is going to be what makes the big difference this year. What do you think, Koma? My chair just sunk. Um, the combination of that and the fact that there is more, like, double the number of people attending this year, so... I'm stoked. I'm stoked for that. Okay. What returning game are you most hyped about? And uh, if you're not too sure on returning games, um, the returning games we have currently that are 100% are Yoshi's Island, Fancy Pants... Mega Man X, DuckTales, and Double Dragon Neon. DuckTales? Yeah, duck, DuckTales for me too, for sure. That game is awesome. <laughs> hmm, I gotta think. A lot of people voted on the poll for Double Dragon Neon to come back. They were all would, really hyped. Yeah, I'd say Double Dragon Neon because I've seen your practice of it, and it's definitely, like, you've got it down this year. So, so are you going to uh, co-op that or just single? Um, I really don't know. Uh, it all depends on if I can get, like, a competent uh, Double Dragon player. I've asked a couple of people, and they're just like, no, nah, man, I will hold you back. I don't want to do that. I can't do that. And I'm like, well, you run as Shadow Bro, and you have all the same stats as me. We're both OP. You just run when I say run. You don't fight when I say don't fight. That easy, you know? Um, so I don't know. There is a, a, a local um, Way Forward fan. Me and him kind of... Uh, get, we... We're both Scribblenauts and Skylander fans, but the thing is, is when I'm not talking about Scribblenauts or Skylanders, he doesn't really give a fuck what's going on. So, <laughs> but he's a big he's a big way forward fan, so he has it. But he has the PS3 version, so we don't play together. Mm. But he's a very very competent. Like he told me all the tricks, pretty much that I know. So, if I can get him to just come by, I was gonna give him a complete in box Wham shell. But he bought it off eBay, and I was like, crap, I have nothing to bribe you with. <laughs> uh, potato, you didn't answer that yet. Didn't I? Did you? What'd you say? Duck tails? 
<laughs> no, I didn't answer. No. <laughs> yeah, I would have said DuckTales. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, um, alright, what new game are you most hyped about? I'm going to start off by saying DuckTales Remastered. That's a pretty sweet game. I'm going to um, go with Mega Man Powered Up. Oh, that's a good one. They're actually, I mean, everyone's gonna, everyone is gonna see it. So I don't know if I should put it in the chat or not. <laughs> but here, let me see if I can put it in the chat. Where's the chat? Chat. Here's the list of stuff that has been confirmed, so you guys can just look it over. Oh, it actually said one next to it. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, what? <laughs> I didn't see that shit like pop up there. I was like, what? There's a one there? Okay, so um, no shit. Let me get back up to the question. Oh, that's yeah, that's definitely mine then. I don't know if there is. I don't know if I actually marked which ones are new or not. But yeah, so what new game are you most hyped about? <laughs> I would say Mirror's Edge because that game is so underrated and it's such a great game. Yeah. I forgot that it was even confirmed. Uh, it wasn't. It hasn't officially been confirmed, but it has been confirmed by the runner. And actually, um, Nitro Four One One, if he attended, he would have ran it as well, so it would have been a race. But sadly, he's not going to be attending this year. Next year, maybe we can have a Mirror's Edge race. <laughs> I I fail at that game, but I love it. So. I've I've made nowhere in it. I just get frustrated and start banging it's so my head. It's good. You have to you have to give it another shot, man. I do. I really shot. do. Like people have been begging me to get that game, so I will definitely try it again. Especially after seeing. Um, the runner beat that game. <laughs> I wonder what the uh, <clears throat> what the record times are on Assassin's Creed games, because I'd, I'd love to do Assassin's Creed 2. But I don't know if you could do it in any less than 10, 12 hours. If you want to, man. Maybe we'll 8. Some space. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long-ass I mean, game. draw some ad attention, but if you only did the main missions, I, I wonder how long it would take. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, how long to beat that shit, for sure. But my my favorite uh, new stuff is DuckTales 2, because I was supposed to do it last year. Yeah. And I currently hold the speedrun record for it, so <laughs> we'll see nice. if I can beat that. Yeah, I'm excited to see that, because people were all kinds of hyped about that when we did that um, that 23, coma hour show at your place. I was there for that. It's yeah. 23. <laughs> I was, I had, like, what was, what was it? <laughs> Some kind of illness because of the, not climate, but anyway, altitude sickness. I had altitude sickness. My plane landed late. It was fucked up. Give us a break. One hour short. Two people. Come on. Yeah, we were, we were completely dead <laughs> at about 18. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty I I was pretty sure that Potato would never do anything with me again as far as streams go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody answered that one, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, who from the gaming community would you most like to have attend an event? Anybody? Jontron, flat out. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the hands down. Dylan. And down. Well, I'd probably say, I mean, they're not real big, but uh, either Comeback Kid or Love and Rage, because those are two pretty cool dudes. Yeah, those are two pretty cool dudes. What do you think, Rotando? You need, you need a little more time? Ah, uh, shit, I'm so out of the community. I, have... <laughs> well, I had a good one. I had a good one. Smooth McGroove. Oh my love gosh. <laughs> Smoothle Groove would be ridiculous. I don't know about that. Mine would be the happy video game nerd. And yes, I'm rocking my RetroWare <laughs> TV.com swag. What up? Nice. Although that was a mirrored image for some reason, so... Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say either uh, either Happy Gamer or Gamester. Gamester? Gamester would be cool. He would he would probably be easy to reach out to and, and have him attend because he's awesome and really down to earth. I think I've met Happy Console Gamer and uh, Gamester at MacFest. They're both pretty cool guys. Yeah, I hung out, I hung out with both of them, too. How did we not run into each other? Fuck. Because I'm invisible as shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, and then I'm gone. Uh, okay. Wait, who, who did Protato say? 
Uh, either Happy Console or oh. um, Gamester. Okay. Happy Console. See, Gamester. that's not good. Wow. Short team memory loss there, Adam. Hey. <laughs> um, I guess this one is uh, is probably just for me. Uh, what inspired uh, UGC? And that'd probably be a combination between um, um, Awesome Games on Quick, which is uh, Speed Demos Archive and Speed Runs Live. I'm sure that hopefully some of you guys down here know what that is. Uh, they raised money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Last year they raised $400,000 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And that's awesome. Um, the other thing is me just getting sick and tired of hearing all this fucking bullshit. <laughs> so, kind of both of that. Like, I would have called it, like, don't be a dick fest and just tell people <laughs> not to be fucking assholes when they're playing with other people online. Like, fuck, just don't be a dick. <laughs> especially on Xbox, especially on Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. There you go. Yeah, I know. You and I discussed it quite a bit before you start, started up the the event, and we had been talking about speed demos quite a bit and how how cool it would be to do what they do with their live event. But we didn't know if anybody would show up or want to do it. I, I think less, last year was really just kind of a launching pad, and like people didn't either didn't think it was going to be fun or didn't really know how we were going to do it. Like, I just, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, did they think we were going to all dress up in tuxes and yell at them all day? Like, I, I don't know. Like, what? I, I know I, for me it was kind of, um, like, short notice, kind of. It was, like, just announced and all of a sudden there it is. Well, I, I don't really know how long it was in the making, like, really. I just kind of was, like... It was okay. my first year here, and I was having a birthday coming up. They're like, you should have a birthday party. And I'm like, I have no local friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, well, I got all this money from Twitch. Maybe I should just fly somebody down here and play games with them. <laughs> By the way, if you want somebody to show up in a suit and tux and yell at people, I could totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're to be that guy. <laughs> you're like going to be that guy. I could do so, it. So, <laughs> I want to uh, I want to make up some skits for this thing and oh. kind of mimic uh, the PBS fundraisers. Oh god, <laughs> that would be awesome. Just call now. Show, like, Operators are standing by. Show oh, like no, pictures mean. or some videos of like angry bigoted <laughs> gamers that we found on the internet. <laughs> and be like, this is Timmy. This, yeah, Timmy this was poor man jerk has no idea. While playing Call of Duty. <laughs> And then after you show it all, you need that little star that goes across and says, the more you know. <laughs> For real. We need to get that graphic somehow. Or be like, have a brain come up and be like, knowledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it say, the less your shit. Yeah. <laughs> that works too. Uh, but I mean, it's just, it's a pretty easy message. And that's like all the pledge on Gamers Against Bigotry is. It's you just saying you're not going to be a fucking asshole online and just like why not <laughs> like like me and coma particularly if we're playing castlevania harmony of despair we don't give a fuck who is playing harmony of despair it would help if they're good at harmony of despair <laughs> but we're happy they're there <laughs> yeah and that's the way you should always feel about everything always <laughs> and they're yeah because if they weren't there what do you do yeah, you lose like 90% of the value of your fucking game because you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. Stupid. Just be nice. Play nice, kids. Have your parents taught you nothing? God. Yeah, like when you go on uh, Left 4 Dead 2 and people kick you because you're better than them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're stealing kills or HP. That or... happened to me all the time. Like Seriously? I'd be like halfway across the level and then suddenly I get vote kicked. <laughs> He knows like, what he's what doing. doing. Get rid of him now. <laughs> I never, I never understood that. It's just like, and then like the people who just don't, like, just they'll just like abandon you. Be like, yeah, he got smokered. Fuck him. We don't know him. He doesn't have our clan tag. Yeah, it's like they they just stand out at the start out point for a little while, and then they're like we're playing camp. <laughs> <laughs> If 
your farming <laughs> achievements, just tell me. I'll farm achievements too. I don't give a shit. I'll help you get achievements. I mean, fuck. We could be we could be friends. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of how it is in Battlefield Three or whatever. It's just it's it's bad in any shooter though. I'll just I don't have to say that. Everybody knows that. Yeah, Call we, Duty yeah, Battlefield. It's all the, <laughs> it's all the same. So. Should we play some of those games for like a minute and just to like prove a point? <laughs> If I can get a copy of Battlefield 3, I would bring it and be like, this is the shit you deal with online all the time. Why would you put yourself in this situation all the time? You can prevent shit like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, think... I, I almost think we should actually, like, make an example and, like, play something online and just, like, be like, this. That's exactly what you don't want to do. Yeah. It, it would be the best if, like... Somebody had one of the 11 or 12 year olds that scream all the obscene stuff over, and you just record them and you like got their information. Be like, you know what your kid says online, and play it back to the mother. Be like, this is what your kid does. I'm sure. Like, I'm sure she wouldn't care. She would just be no, like, probably hey, not. She's probably sitting in the next room just listening. She's like, I mean, the kids are already playing an M-rated game. You think the fucking parents are gonna step in now? Fuck no. But yeah, I, I actually think um, there is gonna be. There's supposed to be. A PS4 unboxing during UGC 2013, and I think the Killzone game uh, comes with it, or he's gonna get it, and he might play that during a bonus stream, and maybe we could jump online and see what the dickheads, dickhead elitist scumbag gamers <laughs> do to him when he jumps in. But they're all newbies at that point, so I mean, maybe they'll be cool, maybe they won't. I don't know. Nah, I don't know if it'd be newbies. I got into three, and everybody that had the the rage and the skills from two carried over to three, and it's it if, if somebody calls you a noob on a game on a system that was just released, they're just being fucking dicks. Yeah, <laughs> and you know it'll happen. It will. It'll probably definitely happen. All right, uh, let's let's move on to the next one. Uh, these ones I actually know who they came from because they were asked today. Uh, Super Blazing Nova asked, "How do you usually pick the games for the event?" Can I can I go first? Yeah. The way I picked mine was it was games that I grew up with, I was familiar with, and I knew that I have completed. Uh, games that I've recently either played within like the last month or two, and I've got like patterns and you know enemy layouts kind of placed in my head, and you know, and I don't suck at. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, all right, coma. Um, Chrono Trigger, I picked because I know you can beat it in a certain amount of time with New Game Plus, and it's my favorite game, and I've beat it several times before. Uh, for those of you curious, it's going to be the Super Nintendo version, and then Oath and Felghana. I recently just fell in love with the E series uh, through uh, Co- Happy Console Gamer, and I looked up how fast you can get it done, and then. Uh, Couple of modes you can get it done within two hours. So. That's gonna be really. I'm I'm hyped for Ease. I don't think Ease is uh, represented enough in gaming community at all. <laughs> I kind of go about it two different ways. I mean, one is knowing you can you can beat it or you have beaten it. Another is it's something I like. But the biggest one is probably something that's obscure or strange enough that it's going to be entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my answer um, for that is because I was thinking um, that he was asking like, assuming that I picked all the games or something like that. I just said uh, the attendees simply play games that they want and can beat in a set time frame. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much what you told me. That's that's mm-hmm. yeah, that's it. Because there's no theme. It's not like Sonic Summer Slam. It's not a Castlevania marathon. It's not a Mega Man marathon. Play what you want. I play games that I personally like to show off a lot, like Wiz and Liz and Bleed. I never officially announced Bleed, but Bleed <laughs> uh, is a really good, kind of underrated, very cheap, very awesome game. So, like, that's another... Just to kind of showcase them in a larger scale. Uh, did Portato die? He Where'd got he open, go? Went did something. Did he say where he no, was he's going? No, he's We're going to use a phoenix down on him. <laughs> phoenix down. Oh, he just muted us. There he is, see? He muted us, and now he's gone. Um, Look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. 
It reminds me, though, I saw this picture the other day that was a PSA announcement thing saying, this is your corpse. This is your corpse on Phoenix Down. Please don't <laughs> use drugs or something like that. <laughs> I think it's funny that uh, he kind of got up and, like, strayed out of the camera real slow. He was like... <laughs> and, uh... It's also kind of funny that I was sitting there fiddling with my chair at one point, and I completely just dropped out of the frame. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, oh jeez, this chair sucks, by the way. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine does that too. The mechanism that keeps it up is. Uh... Yeah, I'm just like, I'm like, why am I sinking? I feel like I'm in quicksand. Like, what the hell? Oh, okay. It does not feel good. All right, so Super Blazing Nova asked another question, and hopefully Potato will call back because this is kind of a veteran's one. But he asked, "What is the strangest experience you've had with UGC?" I mean, you guys have practiced for UGC, and you guys have had to promote it and stuff. So maybe you guys have strangest uh, tra wow, strange experiences. My strangest experience was writing uh, the script for John St. John. I thought that was really weird. Like I'm writing the words that a professional voice actor is going to read for a shitty event that I am putting on. It's still pretty awesome. It is awesome, no doubt. I didn't even know that you scripted that. I just thought that they called him up and he did it or something. That's... wow. No, he was contacted, asked if he would do us this favor, said yes, write a script. Keep it relatively short, because I'm a busy, awesome guy. And, yeah, and I was just like, okay, and I particularly tried to keep it under 30 seconds, which, if you notice, it was 29 seconds. Exactly. So, <laughs> I am apparently really good at writing scripts, Hollywood, what up? But, <laughs> that was so weird, because I was like, I wonder if, like, he'll do, like, a froggy voice. And then I was like, nah, he's probably pretty bitter about being a big cat. <laughs> so I'll just <laughs> throw in... <laughs> Uh, so I'll just kind of throw in some Duke Nukem stuff, even though we're not doing Duke Nukem stuff. But hey, I mean, he's an awesome, he's an awesome dude, so that was, that was very interesting that that happened. <laughs> and I want his video to be successful, because hopefully he'll do it, he'll either do more stuff as we get closer to the event, or maybe more the celebrity types will kind of jump on the bandwagon, or even maybe he'll do it again next year. So... Yeah, I kind of hope that picks up in views very quickly. <laughs> Anything from you guys yet? It's kind of uh, weighted towards the vets, but... Mine would be actually being considered to attend UGC. Because I was like, I was like, what is UGC? I was like, UGC? I was like, oh yeah, I saw that last year. And I caught like very little of it. Like I said, like two, maybe three hours. And you're like, oh yeah, dude, you should totally attend. I'm like, I, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I was, but I was like, I don't even fucking like, I don't even know where to start. And I'm like, I guess I'll just practice games. And I started getting timed and not sucking is bad. So I'm like, yeah, this could, <laughs> this might work. It might be okay. So. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty casual for the most part. It's just like you make the time slot. It's not like I say, here's a link to the past. You have five hours. Yeah, I thought it was more leaning towards like stuff like uh what is it summer games done quick yeah i was like i was like oh, i was like hope is not like that because people are just gonna be like this dude sucks i can do this so much faster i'm like it's just me i suck i know sorry that that is actually a very common thing as people think that we are speed running the games especially when i do stuff like fancy pants and all that because i do have very good times and i am very efficient at it but i don't speed run as much as i like have like an arsenal which i kind of explained before it's having a game I could beat in a set amount of time to, and I just know that. Like, it's a go-to game. Like, hey, you want to see me beat a game? You got two hours, boom, sit down, beat it. So that's kind of more or less what it is. Just being efficient and guaranteeing a completion. Well, I will say this. Most of the games I have picked, I have completed on my live stream. <laughs> they have been seen on my live stream. And I am fairly confident I can do them even better at UGC. I stand now to say that. <laughs> well, don't cut too much time off, because, I mean, you're in for that time, so if you improve them, you got to oh, keep yeah, updated. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you right. had any weird experiences yet, Coma, or, or are you just kind of waiting for this year? I'm just kind of waiting for this year, because uh, I, I have to say the oddest thing was trying to time things, but mm, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about, like, your hashtag 
<laughs> quotables making it like like three <laughs> years. I don't know. I just there's a lot of running jokes with us anyway, so Yeah, I guess it's <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty interesting. Um well maybe we'll have to go back to that when Potato comes back. I wish I knew what he was doing. Like well, hopefully like he didn't leave his like kitchen on fire or something like that. <laughs> He's chasing Smurfs. Um This one is also kind of kind of weighted. Uh what is your favorite experience with UGC? So strangest and now favorite. Um, my favorite was actually when we did the four-player uh, Gigawing 2, <laughs> which is a shmup, um, in the middle of the night. Like, we were so tired. We were going cross-eyed. We were loopy. We were really stupid. And playing a shmup in the middle of the night, I wouldn't fucking recommend it. N not on no sleep. Because it was like, because we had four full-timers, and, and it was those full four full-timers that did that run. And it was so fucking awkward. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys have uh, a favorite yet? Like, like I, beating any games or announcing I anything? remember waking up in the morning uh, to get ready for work, and Hero Biscuit was playing uh, Link to the Past. And I brought, you know, because I brought the stream up, because uh, I had a half hour before I needed to leave, and to him and, uh, I think it was Ness, and they were just started quoting random shit like show tunes and at one point you know, something was said about if you teach a man to go he eats for a lifetime or something like that <laughs> <laughs> why do I feel like we answered this question already hold on here oh okay that was oh yeah we answered this question already so I'm going to take that off Unless, like, hyped and excited for are not the same. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. That's, that's the same. Uh, yeah, I would say it's probably the same. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think is the hardest part of the event? Um... Like what do you or like? What do you guys project is going to be the most difficult part of the event for you? Like you guys. I think for me, it would be either. This is going to sound dumb. Either completing the game too early, <laughs> or completing the game too late. Because with what I'm practicing, there's so many like like margins of error that I could just like completely screw it up and it, it would just kill the time. That's why one of my games got cut, because <laughs> I fucked it so bad, I, I was just like, no, there's just no way. I'd have to agree with that, especially with Chrono Trigger, because the ending, because I want a specific ending, and if yeah. I go for it and I, I do one thing wrong, and I could screw the whole ending up, and though I could take a shortcut and go straight to the boss pretty much right out of the bat, but that would finish the game off in less than 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so you guys are say, saying staying within your time slot is, is yeah. probably going to be what's going to be uh, the most difficult or challenging thing for you guys. Um, for me, the hardest part of the event is the scheduling because um, me and Brittany, we do all the scheduling and she actually keeps it updated in real time. So if we actually do get ahead of schedule or behind schedule, she updates it in real time. And simply what happens is since every four hours we have those 20 minute kind of breaks, those little safety nets, we just <laughs> go on <laughs> and we move the fuck on. And like, and so, I mean, it's relatively, it's set up really well between the two of us. We've really thought it out and got like, it worked out. I mean, last year there was kinks, but it was the first one, but yeah. the scheduling is a fucking nightmare, especially when you got part timers, uh, people who only want to stream, uh, at certain times a day. Um, yeah, there's just weird stuff. And then, like, like this year, because we have so many, I want people who are playing a certain game to be paired up with people who know shit about the game. Like, um, let's say Mega Man X. Like, I don't know much about Mega Man X. I would like, I would like Wake of Osiris to be teamed up with somebody who knows fucking Mega Man X a little bit. <laughs> uh, and sometimes that's a pain in the ass to get together. And then sleeping schedule, which we probably won't have to do with 12 people, but with 
five. <laughs> we had to do sleeping schedules, and that was a nightmare. So, scheduling is a pain in the ass. That's why I like constantly ride you guys, like, give me time, give me games, no, no, no. And I've, I've started the schedule already. I, I, I really do. I have the games that I want in prime time already in prime time slots. Late night stuff and late night stuff. Um, my half timers or part timers doing just the days on Saturday or whatever. And fuck, man. Just. <laughs> Speaking of Mega Man, I was thinking of something for Mega Man. Are you going to cancel Mega Man X on me right now? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to cancel it. During the thing, you know how you do the milestones and stuff? To do a milestone, either to do it with the Hadouken or without the Hadouken, because without the Hadouken makes the game fucking harder. Because I'm guessing you're going to do the 100% run where you do get the Hadouken, right? That, I was planning on it. I was going to, because that's, yeah. that's what my initial time was based off of, was all the hearts, all the tanks, everything. Do the, I would just do the 100% run, just straight up. Gotcha. gotcha. If you want to do any kind of incentive, I mean, uh, one of our members is a very, very, very good very very good professional cosplayer and he's made like fucking helmets and stuff for Mega Man characters that are like should totally get him to bring one and just wear it he was he was did you did you happen to see Vile last year at MAGFest yes that was him he's attending wait wait you know this you know this I, I know this he said he would make me something but oh really are you serious I I, I don't know this shit yet you guys are gonna show up like clatted out and just be like bum Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. What I want him to make... Ridiculous. What I want him to make is if you, if anybody watching this has ever seen Mega Man NT Warrior when he has, like, the ninja mask on <laughs> from Battle Network. I fucking want that. I just want the helmet. I'd be set, man. <laughs> you just, we just wear out the bed every night. I just, just be like, fuck, I'm good. I just wake up Mega and be Man like, ugh. Be like, oh, man, I got to eat some fucking energy tanks and shit <laughs> get ready for the day oh man okay um, so good <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was the question oh the hardest shit like I don't know how the fuck we got off topic so bad okay um how was your relationship with gamers against bigotry after the first UGC event so this is kind of what happened is I was trying to find a good charity or a smaller cause as it were to kind of raise money for who were kind of, kind of following the same line that I was going for. And um, last year we were 100% given all donations to whoever the fuck we chose. So it was pretty much a monopoly. Um, not a big one, but I mean it was about 500 bucks, which is really good because we peaked out at 40 viewers. So if you think about that, that's a lot of generous donators, especially because not everybody got everything, whereas this year everybody will get something. Uh, mm. I should say up to 100, but dear God, if we get over 100, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm just, <laughs> just going to weep. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I will do. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of how it happened, and they didn't really know how we found them, and I, they are probably stoked as fuck when their PayPal had a lot of money in it. Um, so, yeah, our, our relationship is awesome, and this year, uh, the founder, Sam Killerman, who's been on TED Talks, he's been on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, he is going to be attending in person. And also the director of communication, uh, James, whose last name, I don't know, his, he goes by Don Quixote, is also attending. So they're actually going to be there. So I can't interrupt them when they're talking on Skype. They're actually going to be there to interact with the chat, answer questions, be awesome. And I'm, I'm really fucking nervous, like, to have, a, to have a, like, kind of smaller celebrity status in my house. Like, he wrote a fucking book. I can't even read a book. Like, I'm fucking... <laughs> like, I am seriously fucking nervous nervous about it. But, um... Yeah, our relationship is awesome. Uh, this year, I kind of had to be like... You know, we kind of got to do 50-50 because my fundage is running out. And, you know, I'm paying for I'm paying for flights. I'm paying for gas. I'm, you know... I got to pay for all this equipment. The electric bill is insane after UGC. Insane. <laughs> Because all the computers are on, all the TVs are on, they're a fucking nightmare. So we had to go 50-50, and I didn't even think they were going to, like, want to be a part in any way, shape, or form. And they're like, nah, man, we're going to fucking be there! And I was like, cool. 
And um, as far as I know, the directors of communication, uh, James, he's um, planning on bringing some games that he's going to actually participate. So that's awesome. He's not just going to be a pretty face. He's actually going to be providing content. So I'm really... I did not know that. I'm really kind of nervous uh, about that. Like, these are the guys that, like, they go to conventions and they'll call out fucking Penny Arcade. Like, they will go. They went to Penny Arcade's fucking <laughs> convention and called them out. And I don't know if they were just saving face, but they were like, yeah, man, we were fucking, we don't want to be fucking dicks anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, they're fucking, they're big wigs, and I'm nervous. I, I just want to play games and, like, tell people not to be assholes, but. I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked to have, to have him on my fucking couch. It's going to be great. Oh, man, never mind. So, obviously, <laughs> was, that being said... I was said, thinking of something. They have a very big uh, support group, and all of those people are going to be watching. So, potentially, <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah. So, I honestly can't believe that. Hey, Potato's back! Yay! I'm back. Uh, do we want to ask him any of those questions? Uh, what is the strangest experience you had with UGC? The strangest. The strangest? <laughs> I don't know. Probably just... Sleeping in the same room as Ness. <laughs> that, it, it honestly does not get any stranger than that. That is fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what was your favorite experience uh, at UGC 2012? When we were all awake. <laughs> mine, mine was when we were all awake in the middle of the night playing Giga Wing 2. That was that was kind of ridiculous. Um, what for you is the hardest part of the event? Uh, not feeling half dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> and um Having the energy to continue <laughs> yeah it was tough last year because 48 hours with uh four people um one part time it was definitely fucking hard i was just uh i was just telling everybody about uh the founder and director of communications of gamers against bigotry actually showing up and um yeah that's that's gonna be kind of nerve-wracking here yeah, because um i don't know if you're familiar with sam Kellerman. he has been on ted talk uh, Jimmy Fallon. He wrote a book. Um, yeah, he's kind of a big, big deal. He's definitely, uh, he's definitely better than us. So, and we can feel this big sitting next to him. But we can impress him with our awesome gaming ability. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> okay, uh, the next two are kind of quick. Um, is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle block returning? Komatos, let me see your shirt. You have to make some noise. Hell yeah, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle block will be returning. I'm not going to announce quite yet what is going to be in that block, but no, Out of the Shadows is not. It was kind of planned, but it's shit, so it's not going to make the block. Is and League of Legends that. going to be at UGC 2013? No. no. <laughs> guys, Never, guys, ever. guys, how are your how are your vocal cords doing? You want to join me in this? <clears throat> Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Rotato with that baritone. Hell no. Okay. What? We could have a barbershop quartet. <laughs> <laughs> Although it will bring in the stumblers, I'm guessing. But there's like 2,000 other people streaming it, so probably not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't think we missed any... Uh... Yeah, you didn't really miss that much. Okay, so what time slot is your favorite? I'm going to start off with this one. My favorite time slot is uh, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. I love that time slot, probably because I'm half naked when I'm playing games. So it's really only appropriate, which is which only makes sense at your Eastern Standard Time. But yeah, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. is definitely my favorite time slot. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I. Uh, They're all go, me half naked. <laughs> I can yes, that's very distracting, Adam. Sorry. I'm gonna have dreams now. I don't know what to do. Uh, um, I, I can do either late night or or 
from uh, early morning anyway because that's kind of my sleep schedule is all screwed up as it is because work I've closed and open so I could do probably you know 4 a.m. to 10 or whatever because I'm gonna be up anyway. Okay, so like <laughs> if you were like streaming on your own, that would probably be like your favorite time slot, or is that just specifically for the event? I guess just for the event for my specific. Uh, time slot for when I stream, which is very rarely, is usually 6 p.m. to 10 or 11. Okay. Although I'm pretty hyped about RPGs being a part of uh, UGC this year, so I don't know if it's going to be 4 a.m. to 10. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be. I'm just... Well, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, uh, w Wake, what do you think? Uh, I'm more of a late-night streamer myself. I'd prefer the late-night crowd to the people you get during the day, the trolls and all them aren't there at night, so they're all tucked in bed by their mommies and daddies. <laughs> yeah, but you, get, but you get the UK crowd, because they're like eight eight hours ahead of us, or five hours ahead yeah, of but us? UK, five hours. UK people are nice as shit, though. Like, I've never met, like, a rude UK person. Yeah. I, mean, I guess if I went there, then... <laughs> but over the internet, no, it's a whole other story. Alright, so Potato, uh, what time slot is your favorite? Uh... I mean, I don't know what time the fans actually show up, but I like the afternoon just because I'm actually awake to do stuff. <laughs> afternoon is a good I'm time. <laughs> not dragging through games. Yeah, like, as good as you are at some games, when you're tired, you don't perform well, and then that's where we get what you call marathon luck, <laughs> which generally <laughs> isn't good. It's either something so stupid you can't believe it happened in your favor, or so stupid that you want to break the controller over your face and go home. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> but yeah, my, my favorite thought is just past prime time. So I'm, I, usually, I usually put potato in prime time because I'm, I'm too nervous to, <laughs> to do that. And um, I do want to say right now, number one rule, I know that um, Walking Dead is coming back in October. <laughs> I really fucking hate it when people jump in my chat and just go, Daryl's dead! <laughs> like, you gotta oh. remember, Adam is a season behind everybody. <laughs> hey, I'm keeping up on Amazon Prime now. Give hey, me a break. hey, season three is out on DVD and Blu-ray now. I saw it today at Walmart. I watched that on Prime. I'm, I'm caught up. I'm caught up, but, but I don't watch them like, when they're airing. And every, like... Like fucking Wednesday late night or Thursday when I'm streaming, people come in and just fucking Daryl's dead, Daryl's dead all the time. I do not want to deal with that at UGC this year. I don't fucking want to deal with it. All I know is if Daryl dies, I'm done watching the show. Plain and simple. Amen. If Daryl dies, we fucking riot. <laughs> Daryl didn't even exist in the comic book. Who it cares? It doesn't matter. He fucking exists now. <laughs> he exists to exist forever. <laughs> I agree. I have to wear my I Love Daryl shirt with the motorcycle. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, do it, man. I totally don't have that You have to have wear your shirt. swaggiest swag. That's like rule to, number one. I, I should be wearing it now. I should go get that. Your swag if, shirt? If you go give me, like, two minutes, I go get that. I throw that on. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I can mute this. Okay, all right, so um, the next question... And uh, we'll ask this when he gets back. Is um, are you nervous about having a much larger viewer count this year? Um, yeah, I'll start with you guys. <laughs> why is his Why is his showing up? There's no one there. <laughs> it immediately went to Wake of Osiris. It's just like nobody's even there. <laughs> Nobody is even here. Not really, because I mean they're there and they're chatting, but it's not like they're in front of me watching me play live. I mean, they're live, but it's not like they're in person, you know? It's, it wouldn't really... So you don't care if there's a thousand fucking people watching you with their judging eyes? Fuck no, I'm playing a game. I don't care. <laughs> what about you, Potato? I don't care. <laughs> I would probably be thrilled and... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. I didn't, you didn't tell me it was red, white, and blue. Like, that is ridiculous. Walmart, man. 
I want to get the, I wanted to get the purple, pink, and black one, but they were sold out. Oh man, that would be the one that I get for sure. Uh, we were just talking about. Um, are uh, are you nervous about having a much lar- larger viewer count this year? And I'm gonna say if we have one, I'll probably just be giddy, excited, and hyper. So was my mic muted? No, I, I heard you. So it sounds like you're <laughs> typing. So we muted your mic. No. Go to hell. Uh oh. Oh no. Come back. Come back to me, please. Come back. What the fuck just happened? We literally have one last question. And then potato, and potato leaves because you. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Wake, what, are you nervous about having a much larger viewer count? Uh, no, it'd be nice for once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so hopefully, Potato will come back. Uh, although I don't think he can hear me. Potato, come back. My swag killed protein. Why? Why your your swag is just so dangerous? Swag killed the swagzilla. Swag. So it's a swag four times. I should go find the shirt that it says swag five times. You notice? See? Swag, swag, swag. So it's it's swag there's an extra swag. G. Like why wouldn't they just do it? Why wouldn't they spell it four times? And then okay, this isn't. Where did he go? <laughs> What did you do? It's like as soon as you drop, he's like, I'm going to go make a waffle. <laughs> All right, we'll wait. But I wanted the YOLO shirt as well. I just wanted a bunch of stupid stuff. <laughs> oh. I did see a shirt that I wanted at Walmart that I probably will get, and I'll probably wear that one instead of this one. It says, other gangs can't handle my swag, and it's got Snoopy and Charlie Brown standing back to back. I want it. I want it. Why? I don't know. I always buy this stupid shirts. <laughs> I have a shirt that has a big middle finger on it, and it says Young and Reckless, but I don't think that would be appropriate to wear. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if we would get flagged for that or not. I wore it on last a couple but, times. But where's fucking Protato? I don't think I've ever gotten flagged. I've gotten reported because I didn't put my channel as 18 plus, and I was playing something, and someone was like, "I'm offended." I'm like, "Sorry." Yeah, I have mine as 18 plus because oh, I no, fucking cuss like a sailor. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it Actually, on potato screen and wait. Look at all the cool stuff he has. I don't think I cussed that much playing the game I played today. Somewhat. I Not got... more than what you have when we've played games together and chatted before. So. That is true. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look around Coma's room now. That What's that statue room? behind you? That one? No, the one kind of, like, I don't know if it's on a TV or... I don't think it's a statue. It looks like Ganon. What? Ow! Son of a... <laughs> Um, there's a poster behind me. No, it looked like something was like standing on top of a <laughs> TV. All right, what's the what's the statue over to your left then, or your right? That? No, you're right. You're right. The one you pointed right at at first. Here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just making people mad now. Oh, cool. I remember you showing that off. Yeah, I actually got the Assassin's Creed 3 collectors. That, that's oh, what nice. that is. It's actually off script. It was 
something off the screen. But the, what you thought was, it's like over here on top of a DVD rack is actually an Assassin's Creed 3 poster. Okay, so you like the Assassin's um... Creed. Okay, we have one last question. <laughs> I can't believe we crashed right before the last question. So you guys ready for this one? Yes. No. Never. Yes. You go ahead. Are you ready, Potato? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question is, what are you most excited to see and or do at this year's event? I'm actually excited to meet all you guys in person. Because that'd be pretty sweet. Well, technically, we're not going to be in person. We're all holograms. Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> so, as said the guy in the swag shirt. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll let you know what I'm most excited about, and that's street passing with you motherfuckers. Because I couldn't care less about actually meeting and knowing you guys in person, but I want my me to meet your me, and for us to go into space and battle. Okay, bring well. Your, you bring your 3DS or you're dead to me. Everybody else is doing that. I probably won't. <laughs> Do you, because you don't have one, right? Yeah, I don't have a 3DS. But if you had a 3DS, you would bring it, right? If I had one. <laughs> so everybody watching this video, if I had a 3DS. <laughs> it wouldn't do them any good unless they were going. Good point. Okay, so the question, what are you most excited to see or do at this year's event? I'm excited to see... Hmm. I'm excited to see some of the games that haven't been announced that I don't know about, played, and then I guess kind of like meet everybody and hang out. That was that was a good answer. I was looking for my bottle of water. I picked up the empty bottle. I'm like, there's nothing in this fucking thing. <laughs> Koma, do you want to weigh in on this? Well, like, like I said, just me, you guys would be pretty freaking sweet and just hanging out. Okay. Potato? I mean, Potato's done this. He's a veteran. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He's already a rock star. He doesn't give a shit about us. He should be rocking my swag shirt, then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. It's not swag enough. Uh, it's five times swag. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's only four letters in swag. But it was... It was, it was fu you know, it was so swag, it crashed everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to explain it. It says swag in white four times down, and then it says swag in blue across. Yeah, but it says swag with two G's instead of just with one. No. It's... <sighs> Look. <laughs> S-W... S-W-A-G. You said it said five times down. Oh, one, you mean five two, times... Three, four, five. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> All right, potato. We can end this with it with your answer. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm most excited to see. <laughs> or do pick one. Uh, I, I'm. I'm most excited to hang out with you again. Okay. That's cool. I mean, you can come by anytime you want. I don't care. I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, so yeah, pretty much uh, me and Potato will always be blocked together then, I guess. I don't even know what I'm playing. I have to cancel my games left and right because there's so many people getting in and adding games. Games that are way popular than the shit I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, yeah, any final um, words of advice? Uh, go check out the, um, the free swag video. Um, I don't think I have any nearby, which is dumb. But somebody else say something. <laughs> something. That is woohoo. That's all I can think of. Duckbird, race car lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. What? What's going on? We're gonna have to sing that. history, Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so um. <laughs> Yeah, guys, make sure you check out the video uh, that uh, says uh, support UGC, get free stuff. This is the free stuff. It's a glow-in-the-dark wristband. Don't worry, guys. If you're participating, you get one. 
It says uh, United Gamers Coalition on one side. Oh, you can actually kind of see it because it's actually shooting in HD-ish. And Red Cell City on the other, and it does glow in the dark. Um, you get one of those for free just for making a video response video. And, uh, you know, YouTube's trying to get rid of that. And I don't know why. But, yeah, you guys can get, you know, show us a little support. We'll give back to you. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Now. Do it. And also check out the John St. John promotional video. Um, please, links will be in the description. Anything else from you guys? No, just spread the word and get people to actually watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag UGC hype. Hype that shit. Yeah. yeah. Twitter and pictures on Facebook. Like, if you just if you just say something on Facebook, it gets fucking buried. You have to add, you have to like post a video or a picture in order for it to mean shit. And then it's got to get like a thousand fucking likes to for anybody to even see it. Less than ten people see like all of my posts, and I got a lot of fucking people following me. It just pisses me off. Facebook. So, word of mouth, man. We're heavily relying on word of mouth. That's pretty much all we're going on. So, you guys have to help us out. And like I said, we'll fucking reward you for it. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Coma Awake, do you want to plug anything uh, you know that you're doing or anything like that? Streams, uh, videos coming up, videos you've done? Ch you want to check me out? I'm Comatose87 on uh, pretty much everything. YouTube, Twitter, uh... Heck, on Xbox, if you want to add me on there, just make sure you, you message me that you are just some random. Just, just put hashtag UGC. He'll add you. Yeah. There <laughs> you go. Uh, I guess I'll plug probably like two things. Check me out on uh, Twitch TV for UGC practices at twitch.tv slash wake of Osiris. Also check out my YouTube, which is youtube.com slash bgzoo. And, uh, yeah, my Twitter's also Wake of Osiris if you want to get at me there. If not, it don't matter. I know people don't use Twitter that much. <laughs> but, yeah, that's about it. Anything from you, Potato? Uh, you know how to find me if you can spell Potato. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Including going to Potato.com. <laughs> it exists. Don't misspell it, though, or you're not going to be happy. <laughs> now you've got me curious. You don't. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Make sure you check out. I don't know if Potato. I don't know if you're planning on doing any more practices or anything like that, but. Definitely follow uh, follow follow all of us on Twitch. That'll all be in the description. I'm tearing a little bit, and uh, yeah, so um, get hyped. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for me and Potato uh, being the veterans who are both be attending this year, which is uh, going to be awesome. And Comatose and Wake of Osiris for being the newbies who will be attending, and uh, lots of good, awesome games. Uh, Comatose is all about the RPGs, and Wake of Osiris is all about the Super Nintendo. And but whatever. It's all over the place. Yeah, he, 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 yeah. But you're playing like all like AAA titles though. Like, he's gonna be VIP again. <laughs> Unless we see some like really ridiculous shit from other runners. Like, uh, he has like the most like top top tier games. I would I would say. But I don't know the RPGs. It's pretty <laughs> good. Really hyped about that. People are going to be like, someone's playing Chrono Trigger? Because I've never seen somebody playing Chrono Trigger on Twitch yet. Like, there's like, there isn't speedruns of it or anything. So, people people like Chrono Trigger. Um, might, might bring the peeps to the yard, I'm just saying. <laughs> if they do, we may, we may have to open with Chrono Trigger so we can get the fucking hype going. Let's be like, <laughs> you miss Chrono Trigger, you suck. It, it, I mean, well, the thing is, is well, it won't get any better than that, so... <laughs> Be like, stick around for Yoshi's Island. Later. I don't know. I honestly, I honestly have no idea what to open the show with. I really have no fucking idea. Fuck it. I'll bring Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> That's a long fucking game, though. <laughs> it's not that great either, though, is it? 
Yeah, dude, what's wrong with you? That game's amazing. It's it's actually a at least a medium, at least a medium soft a, a sought after game on the PlayStation One. I could fucking I could. Do okay, it. I think I'm just thinking of Lagoon. No, that game's terrible. Is it? Shut up, no, whatever. I could do Dino Crisis or Parasite E one and two. They're all good. Dude, fuck you if you could do Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis yeah. is the fucking shit. What do you have it on? PlayStation 1? I have Parasite Eve on my PSP. Oh? Wait, third birthday? No. The first one. Uh, uh, can't you get that on your PS3 then? If you downloaded it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same thing with Dino Crisis. I think you can get it on PS3. Do this. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, guys. So, guys, continue to be hyped about UGC 2013. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Uh, a dozen people. I'm I'm guessing like fucking over 20 games. I mean, they're playing. There's some long games getting done this year. And uh, yeah, if we get any more than a dozen for next year, we're probably gonna have to extend it. And that's gonna suck for people who have to work and shit. <laughs> we're probably gonna have people who are only there half the time. So. But yeah, I'm I'm hyped. Hope you guys are hyped. And uh, yeah, comment on this video for reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Make video responses before YouTube takes them away. Yeah, feel free to video response to this and stuff. You can t you can answer any of the fucking questions that that we asked if you want. What was your favorite moment? Was it Ness pissing in the bed? Probably. That shit was pretty funny. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, rule number two, don't fucking piss in your sleep. <laughs> Only piss when you're awake, and not on anything absorbent. <laughs> it's okay to pee into a cup. That includes the dog. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? If he's if he's if he's acting a fool, go ahead and fucking piss on him. I mean, shit. But then then you can't like everyone's gonna be complaining that he smells like piss the rest of the time, and I'm like I'm not gonna fucking wash him. But yeah, he is absorbent technically, so yeah, don't don't pee on him. <laughs> you can technically pee at like the refrigerator. All right, you are no longer coming. <laughs> the regular Cyrus just uh, just canceled, so sorry. I'm trying to think of things that aren't absorbent. Oh, okay. Pee only where it's appropriate. Where and when it's appropriate. <laughs> so if I'm laughing and I'm on the couch and I can't hold it, does that count? No, because that's going to happen. You, somebody will make somebody pee themselves. That is all but guaranteed. That will happen. Because you're just going to sit there chugging tea and Gatorade and someone's oh going to say something stupid and you're going to pee all over yourself. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> I mean... Catch it on film when it happens. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm wearing my Plants vs. Zombies underwear and running <laughs> fancy pants, someone's going to pee on themselves. It's going to happen. <laughs> Might even be you. N no. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's got nowhere to go. <laughs> Fucking squeaky chair. Stop it. All right. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah, if you guys uh, want to think of other incentive ideas besides me being pantsless and us wearing these dumb masks. Wear one anyway. What you talking about? I mean, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm fucking. Dude, shut around. up! It's for donations. <laughs> I mean, no. You're taking money away from us. I will cover it in full turtle cosplay. I don't know. It'd be oh, sucky. But... I will wrap mine in aluminum foil. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Surprise. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys can think of incentives for your games. Ow. Do it. Alright. 
That's it. We're done. This is this has been silly. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm out of Magro. That's when you guys say your names and goodbye. Not, to... not at the same time. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that again, okay? Uh, it's gonna go me, coma, potato, wake of Osiris, and wake of Osiris say something like really like witty and clever at the end, like have your pet spayed or neutered or something like that. Oh. Or until next time, from all of us at UGC, have a good one. Something, just something like that, okay? All right, ready? I'm Adam Agro. Come to us, eighty-seven. I'm Potato. I'm Wake of Osiris. Have your pet spayed or neutered. You don't want balls dragging on your floor.